Hello and welcome to this tutorial for setting up Bungle with your CoCars 2DX project for Android using the CoCars helper. As always you must have completed the setting up video before completing this video so if you haven't done that there will be a link in the description to that video so you can go check that out. And as always make sure you have downloaded the latest version of the uh, CoCars helper from GitHub so you have the latest uh, frameworks and uh, code and again the link will be in the description uh, for that so we're going to go ahead and get started so the first thing you're going to do is go to Bungle and if you already have an account sign in or create an account because it's completely free and you should come to this screen and we're going to click on applications and I've already got my application set up but if you haven't you just want to click on new enter in your details I pretty much left everything uh, default and hit create and once you hit create you, it should appear in your applications list and if you click on it yours might be created uh, with test mode as, uh, enabled I wasn't able to get any um, test mode ads to appear so if you click it to active uh, you'll be able to see the same results I'll be seeing later on in this video so we got our app ID ready to use so I'm just going to open up my project folder and the external helper Android frameworks folder. Now uh, in the latest version um, of the helper we now have these JNI results files which I'm going to add in for use with Vungle and add colony so far uh, and it's basically once the user is completed watching a video you get a callback on your C++ side of things and you can uh, do something about it such as give them a reward or or whatever um, so we're gonna copy the results into the our classes folder and while I'm doing that it's just reminding me that um, when you get the latest version from GitHub, you will need to update obviously the CPP and header for the Sonar frameworks. You'll need to update your manifest, uh, the source folder, the res values, and the JNI helpers because some stuff does change in it. And you can see when it was last updated. So just make sure you keep everything up to date because uh, otherwise you might face errors so that's the JNI results copied in and then we're just going to do our usual process of going into frameworks copying the framework we want which is Vungle and pasting it into source sonar systems frameworks and then I'm just going to copy from the libs folder um, Vungle SDK. You don't have to copy it in, but it's just easier to link it with your projects. So you don't have to link externally. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let's close that. So I'm going. To, my project's open in Eclipse already, and um, it's just the default. Uh, project that you get created when you create a CoCars project. So I'm just going to refresh my project and obviously I've got errors for the moment for Vungle but we'll fix them in the moment. So first I'm going to go into the manifest and like I said the manifest has been updated because uh, the JS version now you've got the JS version code so you can switch between them uh, so you can just ignore that but um, if you have the latest one obviously make sure you're using the C++ version because that's what I'm using for this tutorial there will be a JavaScript uh, tutorial on all these frameworks as well coming soon so just scroll all the way down to the bottom and find what's required for Vungle and take the end comment and just close it at the top no, that should not be like that oh my bad that's add colony so Vungle is 
this chunk here. So if you take that and then paste it there, now we've got what we need in the manifest for Bungle. And next we're going to go into resources, values, sonar framework, settings.xml. And we're just going to paste in our Bungle app ID, which you can get from here. Again, make sure your status is active and not in test mode, otherwise you won't see any ads. Or you may do, and maybe I was just unlucky, but I didn't have any luck with test mode, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to paste in my app ID into the Sonar Framework Settings XML, and I'm going to save that. And one thing I forgot to do is go into the Android MDK, MDK? MK, and remember we added in that JNI results file so we need to add in the the uh, appropriate line there so that's the MK done and finally you're going to go into source settings and set use bungle to true and as you can see it requires the Bungle SDK which is what we're going to link with now so if you right click on your project go to properties go to Java build path add jars and if you copied it into your libs folder uh, expand your project go into libs and click on the Bungle open the Bungle SDK and add all of the uh, jars except for the support uh, version 4 because you should add that a different way possibly so I'm gonna add everything apart from the support click on order and export and tick them all if you didn't add it into your libs folder you can add external jars and then navigate wherever into uh, wherever you got the libs folder from so I'm just gonna click OK And as you see, the errors went away for Vungle. So now I'm going to just write some example code and test it and show you guys it working. So, hello world scene.cpp. As always, include sonar frameworks at the top. And on the button press, I'm going to do sonar because helper uh, Vungle. Uh, we only have one uh, function, it's called show video vungle and you can t it takes a boolean is incentivized so I think if you set it to true then it shows the video for like a reward and if it's false uh, it just shows a video I think so I'm just going to hit put in true and yeah I'm going to build and run it on my phone and I'll switch over to the camcorder and show you it on there a um, couple of things I forgot to mention just quickly um, that support jar I told you to ignore you can either add it in which I did in the end but if I remove it and click OK you can right click on your project and you can go down to Android tools add support library and that will just get you the latest one and add it in for you So once that's finished, get in the latest support library. And it's uh, now been added in. So you don't need to add that one, but you can. It's up to you which one you use, but you can't have that one and the other one in because it'll cause conflicts so now you got that and lastly once you update to the latest uh, helper don't forget when you replace your manifest file that you need to also change your package name to what it was uh, which I forgot to do so now I'll run it and show you quickly uh, the video ads working so I'm just gonna run the app and press the button you can fight. 
and you can see the video ads comes up. You got how long remaining and you can also click the cross and it will come up with close video, keep watching or close video if I keep watching. And then once it finishes it goes off, but if you click the video add button and then close it, you can then close that video. And sometimes it comes up with an interstitial but I seem to be getting the same ads so yeah anyway you got video ads and then once um, the video ad completes that um, if I just show you on the this is poor poor uh, video but in the results CPP once the uh, video is finished you can see this uh, Bungle Ads reward video is viewed. That'll be called, and you can put your code in here. Uh, what you want to do once someone successfully watched the video ad. So hopefully that has helped you get Bungle ads into your game. And always, as always, have a good day.